Hey everybody, Danny Ward here. Thanks for joining us. This week we're talking putting. How do you haul more putts around the green? How do you judge distance control? How do you get distance control around the green? How do you read greens? And more importantly, how do you take all of that learning out onto the golf course so you can do it when it matters under a bit of pressure? We're gonna cover all of those points in this week's training. Before I get into the video though, if you're new to the channel and this is one of your first videos of mine, please consider subscribing. Press that little bell button next to the subscribe button and you get notified every time I release a video just like this one. So, putting. There's loads of conflicting advice about putting. One of the things I found through my experience of having lessons, going to some of the best in the world, I personally found that a lot of the things I was taught originally made my stroke very mechanical, very wooden. Things like rock your shoulders, firm wrists, don't let that putter wave around. You know, all of that kind of made sense, but it was made my stroke very wooden. And I find that's the same with a lot of people I see when, I, um, when I'm coaching, they just don't have any feel or consistency in their strokes. So let me show you how you can start to develop a really simple, natural, but consistent stroke. The first thing we need to do in putting is we need to make sure that we have a decent posture. So what we do is we get the ball position, maybe just ahead of your uh, center, try and get nice, evenly balanced with your feet. And then what we're trying to do, we, we want to keep two things still in putting. You need your legs, this section of your body, your foundation, completely still, and you need your head completely still. In between that, however, this bit here needs to be relaxed and flowing. I find that when people try and stay still, everything gets stiff. So you've got foundation here, solidness, head solid, not moving around, and allowing the arms to swing. We want this putter to be swinging flowingly like this. If we move around, the putter's gonna move around as well. So, watch this. We, make it, we get ourselves set up, we let our arms hang naturally in front of our body. This will tell us the distance from the ball. We let our arms hang over here. My eyes, by the way, are roughly directly over the ball within reason, okay? Then we get ourselves set, so nice solid base, and we're trying to make a swing now where our head stays still, our legs stay still, and we allow the arms, look, just to flow. This is very weird for some people who've been missing parts. They don't like this feeling. They feel, that's out of control. No, it can, well, I suppose it is, it's, in our, it's flowing, but the control elements are your head and your legs, they're the things that are keeping it in. Your arms need to be flowing. Otherwise, there's just no rhythm, there's no touch, there's no, con there's no control over where the ball goes. So watch this, we get ourselves set here. Legs are nice and still, head's nice and still, and we allow the putter just to flow backwards and forwards by swinging the arms, okay? It's nice and still here, swing the arms, okay? That's goal number one. To enhance this, certainly what I do to enhance this motion I have a couple of balance cushions. Um, it's sometimes difficult to get the feel of this. So what I do is I'll put a couple of balance cushions down. I'll put a link in the description. They're super cheap. Just you can get them on Amazon. Super cheap. And it's not important that whole putts here, but what it does, if you stick on the balance push cushions here, you'll get an idea of, oh, okay, that, so my body's moving around. Now, how do I stay still? Now, as I try and stay still here, my muscles in my legs are gonna be activated. They're gonna give me some great feedback as to what I should be feeling in order to keep those legs dead still, okay? So backwards and forwards. Okay, not bad. Now, what I do, I would hit probably quite a few putts like that, and as my body's wanting to move around, and, and my muscles are working there, and they're working to keep my balance, that sensation now, I can move to the golf ball. So now, it's weird how stable my legs feel having jumped off then. My, my muscles are working, I've got the same feeling, and it's so much easier to keep those legs dead still. The question is, how do you keep this still as well? Because people try to do it, but they struggle. So there's got two exercises. One is you don't need any training aid with it, and the other one you might. So I've got a putting mirror here, where, again, I'll put a link in the description of where you can buy it, again, super cheap on Amazon. So you've got a putting mirror here, you don't need to use it, I'm gonna give you something else, uh, just a couple of T-pegs to do this, uh, this, the same thing, but I like the putting mirror because when we look down at the putting mirror, we've got, we can actually see 
where our eyes are relative to that golf ball. So we've got a nice stable stance. We've got, we can see where our eyes are. And if our head moves around now, we can actually see our head moving around. So it gives us some immediate feedback. So now again, I use this a lot because I find my eyes sometimes get too far ahead of the golf ball. I want to keep them more over the top and in line. So I hit putts just from there, keeping my head right over the top of that ball. And away we go. Okay, now that's a simple training aid. I use this, I take this to most tournaments just as a little checkup, two or three minutes and away I go. So legs are still, head still. Now, cheaper drill, you don't need to buy a training aid, get a couple of tee pegs. This really helps the concentration. You get yourself set here, this is a slightly left to right putt. And what I do is I put tee pegs just either side of my putter, just like this. Now the great thing about this is it not only just the sheer concentration of swinging the putter head through these tee pegs will encourage you to stay still. Because if you move around, you're gonna hit the tee pegs. So it's a great way of staying still here, keeping the head still, and then away we go. Okay, so great exercise. Tiger Woods loves this exercise. So try those two things for balance in the legs and the head. Now let's look at point number two. So you've got your legs stable, your head stable, and more importantly, the, from top to bottom you're stable, but in between you're relaxed and you're swinging these arms freely. You won't feel comfortable in this, it feels a bit scary, but now you're ready to move on to point number two. Point number two is, is once you've got that stability and you've got some flow to your stroke, you now need to learn to set the ball off on the line. Now, I, so one of the things I put in here, I put a couple of tee pegs about a foot and a half in front of my golf ball, no more. On a golf course, you could just imagine uh, rolling over a spot. But I picked my spot here, which I want the ball to go through. And what I'm doing is, is I'm tracking and imagine, I'm imagining a line going towards the left or right putt. Imagine a line going towards the hole. Now, I don't want to be kind of concentrating up, up there somewhere, because the problem is, is it's often too far away. And it can, strangely enough, feel a little bit intimidating. But if, because I'm playing the game of all I need to do is hit that ball a foot and a half in front of me, over that gap, through that gap there, and hopefully, look at that, the ball goes in. Now that's the advantage of literally having a spot no more than a foot and a half in front of you. It's almost like spot putting, or you can imagine a line. Think, right, there's my line, hit it over that spot. Far, far simple. How many of you, I don't know if you're the same, but how many of you are going like this? You stood over the golf ball with 101 things that you're thinking about as opposed to no. The simple act of pick your spot, there and just practice hitting a ball through that little gate. It will really, really help. Let's move on to the next point. Right, distance control. This is one of my favorite exercises. I do this every single tournament I play, but let me just start by saying what isn't distance control? And I've been falling into this trap many times myself. I go onto some golf courses in the past. The greens were really, really slick. I'd knocked the first one miles by, and then I'd be telling myself, oh, don't hit it as hard this time. That is not distance control. If you're having to tell yourself to hit it harder or softer, you don't have the feel. If I'm gonna throw a ball to you right now, I'm not having to tell myself to go soft or hard. There's a feel to this, okay? So what you need to do, you need to develop that feel before you go on the golf course, particularly if it's a strange one. And the simplest way of doing this is called the guessing game. And all you do is I stand over this putt here, and what I'm going to do, once I've got myself nice and planted in position, I do a few swings, I'm allowing the freedom of my arms here, okay, backwards and forwards. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to guess where this has gone. It actually felt a little bit firm, yes. Now, I said it felt a little bit firm, what I probably should have said, is it's firm, I think it's gone maybe two feet or three feet past the hole. Now what I'm trying to do is, is I know that my feel is good when my guess is good. What do, what do I mean by that? Well, if I'd have said there, it's gone too far by three feet and it's gone too far by three feet, my guess is spot on, that matches my feel. If the ball had gone in the hole at the perfect pace and I thought it had gone three foot long, my, even though it's gone in the hole, my intuition is slightly out. So we're developing, this is so important, developing now you've got your mechanics, yes, but you're developing feel through your senses. I'm having to use my senses to develop that feel. That's how we develop distance control. 
The second thing which is really important here is this. You cannot get distance control if your stroke is wooden and isn't flowing freely. Imagine this, I'm gonna to toss a ball to you right now. If I toss a ball and go, huh, and it's stiff and wooden, I'm not gonna be, it's gonna go all different paces. So what we're trying to do here is, is we're also creating, as we said at the start, a flow motion. I'm not guiding it. I'm, a, I'm allowing the putter to swing. Now, when people do this for the first time, they think the putter's gonna go all over the place. It doesn't because you've got your head fixed, you've got your foundation fixed, therefore the putter will flow on a beautiful line. And that's really important. The more we get into this rhythm of the stroke, what's gonna happen is, oh, not too bad. <laughs> what's gonna happen, the, oh, the balls are gonna start flowing into the hole. So that's pace control. Let's move on to how you then take this and a bit of green reading out onto the golf course. Right, how do you take all this out onto the golf course so you can literally allow yourself to hold more putts? Well, clearly you're gonna to have to put a little bit of practicing first, but then on the golf course, it's about allowing it to happen. And for it to allow it to happen, you've gotta build a very, very simple routine that allows stillness and that lovely flow. So I'm gonna give you my one, two, three routine, really, really simple. Can be a little bit scary for some because people love to hover over the golf ball, but have a look at this. So what we're doing, I get myself, this is my general warm routine. So I've got my pace control now. Now it's just about developing a nice routine. So what I do is I have two or three practice strokes and as I'm get, swinging backwards and forwards here, I'm visualizing the ball going in the hole. So I'm picturing the ball going in the hole. What I do now is this. I walk to the golf ball. I put the putter behind the ball. I look, move my head back and I go. That is what I'm doing straight away, okay? So I'm literally moving and building a system. I'll then, once I've done that, I'll start to move around a hole. This hole is set on a, on a bit of a slope. So this helps my green reading because I'm having to kind of judge the pace and the curve on each one of these putts. So I get myself set again. Every putt now, you'll notice as well, I'm only using one ball. I only ever use one ball. I never stand here with two or three balls putting away because you only get one chance in, in the game of golf. So I love the fact that when I, this is the only part I'm going to play from this position, I get myself set, planted, head nice and still. Once I've done that, now it's this. I'm looking at that, maybe that gate we talked about earlier, and I'm literally one, two, three, get myself set, look through the gate, back to the ball, hit the putt. Miss, doesn't matter. How you react to these, also very, very important, okay? I don't suddenly start panicking that I've missed the putt, back in, like that's life, this, this is gonna happen. So I get myself set again, build my routine in. I can see it's gonna curve a little bit now here. By the way, in the summertime, when the, gra uh, the ground's a little bit firmer, the, the break is gonna break a lot more. In the winter, when it's, uh, when it's wet, it's gonna break a lot less. So we get ourselves set again, and this is it, backwards and forwards. I'm looking at the line, visualizing it, and I'm literally putting through that little imaginary gate that we talked about earlier. I get to my ball, one look at the gate, back to the ball, and then off we go. And that is as simple as that. When you're putting away and you're developing this stroke, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to build a routine. You, if you don't have a routine, you're gonna succumb to the nervousness. You're gonna start moving your head. What I love about the one, two, three technique is that when you go one, two, three, it stops this extra two or three locks, which adds the tension and really puts doubt into your stroke. So what have we done in this putting uh, training? We have done a lot, haven't we? We started off with looking at the basic mechanics. We said, look, you have to have stability in your legs, stability in your head, but everything else is flowing. Do this now, get a sensation of just literally flowing. People are worried that when it flows like this, the putter's gonna feel like it could go all over the place. It doesn't, because you've already got the stability here and here. You've just got a beautifully flowing putter, which is gonna help you distance control and accuracy. We mentioned a couple of training aids. Remember the, the, uh, the cushions, I'll put links in the description below. The mirror is another great example here of helping you to uh, d uh, see what hap is happening to the head over the golf ball. Shows you where your eyes are too. And if you just didn't want to you know, perch the mirror, put a couple of tee pegs in. Again, tigers were a tiger's favorite exercises. That will help you just practice swinging through those tee pegs. Once you've got the basic mechanics in place, that stillness, then we say, look, 
just play the game. You look, you've got a target. It's far easier to imagine a, a, a target a foot and a half in front of you than it is a, um, a target that's away from you. So put those two tea pegs in the ground just ahead of you here and then imagine hitting through those tea pegs a foot and a half in and what happens after that, the ball will take care of itself. Then we went on to pace control. Pace control, remember, is intuitive. It's a feel-orientated action. How do we develop it? My favorite exercise is the guessing game. Close your eyes. Ha guess. When I did this on one, uh, one uh, tournament, I guessed it was like really close to the hole. I looked, it was like 10 feet past the hole. I was 10 feet out. These greens were lightning. I didn't change. I just kept swinging until eventually I got... I guessed, uh, started guessing correctly. Once you've got it, I can then walk up to any put on any green, look, back, go. Don't have to worry about distance control because I'm in my gut. I've got it in my intuition. Just as if I was going to throw a ball to you now, I don't have to think about it. It's in my gut. I know it'll arrive in your hands. And then finally, you've got to get it and you've got to apply it to the golf course. How do you do that? Well, you need to build a solid routine, get a hole, move around it, and build a routine, which I like to say, whoops, it's my one, two, three routine, where what you're gonna do, you get yourself set, you visualize the gate, the ball's going through, you visualize the hole, and then you're going one, two, get rhythm, pace control, get yourself set, one, two, three, and away we go. Hope you really enjoy this training. If you know somebody else who could benefit from some help with their putting, please share it. I'm sure they'll really appreciate it. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Maybe come and join the community by pressing that subscribe button and the bell if you aren't already. But until next week, have a great golfing week.